Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and today we're talking about protein snacks. I'm going to share with you my top 10 protein snacks. These are things I eat almost every single day that help me reach my protein goal. These are my go-tos, these are my staples, these have helped me lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload five videos every week and Sundays we always do something fun like my top 10 protein snacks. I will have everything linked down below for you that you cannot find at your local grocery store. Any discounts I can find, it'll all be in the at the top of the description box as well as nutrition coaching highly highly recommend those personalized macros and calories that is what I follow to lose and maintain my weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions accountability or to talk with me directly links discounts to my favorite things as well as my free supportive Facebook group come join us we would love to have you are all down in that description box so let's jump into my top 10 snacks packed with protein if you follow me, you know that in 2022, all I did is calculated my personalized macros and calories. That is the service that I offer. That is what is in the description box. Definitely take advantage of that. Invest in you. Know what you, sh you should be eating daily to reach your weight loss goals. All I did is track calories and protein. I didn't really worry about carbs and fats. And in order to reach my protein goal every day, I had to find snacks that had protein in them. My meals were easy. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, I could put a good amount of protein in there, but I needed to supplement my snacks with protein in order to reach my goal. And to this day, 2024, the end of 2024, I still do that. I have found some really amazing high protein snacks, my go-tos, my staples, and those are the ones that I want to share with you today. I have a whole bag full, so let's jump in. So the first high protein snack I am actually out of, I actually, I do grocery shop tomorrow. This is something that's a staple for me. It's something I eat almost every day, and that is cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is such a versatile, high protein snack. If you know, you know, Good Culture is my very favorite cottage cheese brand. Second to that is Daisy. I'm really particular on my cottage cheese because I try to buy one that does not contain carrageenan. Carrageenan is a emulsifier, a thickener that is also inflammatory. So Good Culture and Daisy have nice, clean ingredients. And like I said, cottage cheese is so versatile. You can make it sweet. You can make it savory. You can put cottage cheese into things that you cook and it melts like regular cheese. I know that one of the biggest aversions people have to cottage cheese is the texture. But if you put it into things, if you melt it, if you whip it, if you blend it, it doesn't have the texture of cottage cheese, but you still get all of the protein. And like I said, it melts like regular cheese. So it's a great substitute in lasagna. You can make whipped cottage cheese, throw it into smoothies. Cottage cheese is a staple for me. It's something, like I said, I eat almost daily and it's just a really great way to pack in the protein. I also love a good crunchy snack. I love a good crunchy snack and actually sometimes I will dip these into my cottage cheese and that's my protein pretzels. Now I have tried so many different pretzels on the market that contain protein. None of them stack up to crisp power. These are the everything. I also have the sea salt. I also have the sesame. I love these, you guys. These pretzels are incredible. You cannot tell the difference between regular, non-nutritional, non-protein pretzels and these. They taste exactly the same, but you're going to get just a ton of protein. It's 110 calories per serving. So one serving of the pretzels is 110 calories, 15 grams of protein. That is insane. Absolutely insane for pretzels. Now there are certain things I like to do with the different flavors. So this is the everything flavor. This one I like to eat all by itself. This is also the one that I like to dip into my cottage cheese. Everything seasoning and the cottage cheese tastes amazing together. Kind of that savory cottage cheese vibe. The sesame, which is the pink bag, that I love with hummus. They're really good by themselves. Love to dip it in hummus. And then the original or the blue bag, those are the ones that are amazing dipped in peanut butter. If you love pretzels and pre peanut butter, by using the protein pretzels from Crisp Power, you actually get more protein from, you get protein from the pretzels and protein in the peanut butter. Hands down my favorite protein pretzels on the market. You can buy these on Amazon. You can buy these on Nutrition. I do have a 10% discount for Nutrition. I'll link Amazon. I'll link Nutrition. Get these. Get these, get these, get these. These are the 
best protein packed pretzels. Speaking of crunch, Catalina Crunch. This is another thing that I eat pretty much daily. My favorite way to eat Catalina Crunch is on my yogurt bowl. I love a good crunch on my yogurt bowl. I do yogurt, fruit, sometimes chia smash, and then I top it with the Catalina Crunch. This is actually a cereal, but again, I like it on my yogurt bowls. Sometimes I eat it all by itself as a crunchy snack. You could use this, like I said, as cereal. Put your favorite milk in there. Maybe Fair Life to get the extra amount, get the extra pack of protein. It is 110 calories for half of a cup. So it's a good amount of Catalina Crunch and you're going to get 11 grams of protein. That's insane. So the cereal looks like this. It's like, it looks kind of like little mini versions of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is the Honey Graham. I love the Cinnamon Toast, which literally tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They have chocolate. They have chocolate peanut butter. They have infusions. I actually just finished the blueberry infusions. So it has the little cereal chunks and then dried blueberries in there. There's an almond honey one. Just, they're amazing. Every single flavor of Catalina Crunch is so good. And it's a great way to have cereal or crunch with protein. I buy mine off of Nutrition. Again, I do have a discount for them. I will have it down below for you. Catalina Crunch has a website. You can also find these at a lot of regular grocery stores and health food stores like Sprouts, Whole Foods, even sometimes Costco carries Catalina Crunch. Again, something I eat almost daily. Speaking of yogurt bowls, Greek yogurt. This is another staple for me. Something I consume almost daily. I would say out of seven days in a week, I eat Greek yogurt probably six of those days of the week. Again, it's something I really love. It's something I've had since day one of my weight loss journey. It helps me stay on track. It helps me get in protein. It's great as a dessert or a sweet treat. And I am a sweets person. So anytime I can get a healthier sweet treat, I'm here for it. And yogurt really helps with that. Light and Fit, this is the pumpkin. Love this. I love the Too Good, the Siggy's yogurt, the Chobani Zero Sugar. Make sure you're getting Greek yogurt because that's where you're going to get the protein. This particular one has only 80 calories and 12 grams of protein. And like I said, it's sweet. It's a sweet treat. Top it with some Catalina Crunch, some fruit. I'm telling you, it is one of the best high protein snacks. There's so many things you can do with Greek yogurt. Also buying just plain non-fat Greek yogurt like Faye. You can do whole milk yogurt if you prefer. You can mix in things like honey, chia smash, no sugar added jam, and make your own yogurt. Really the possibilities are endless and it's one of the best ways to get in tons and tons of protein. So protein powder is another staple for me. I do have two protein supplements every single day. And what I mean by protein supplement is something like protein powder, protein water, protein shakes, protein bars. Those are what I consider to be protein supplements. So protein powder is something I consume daily. Sometimes I make up a protein shake with it, blended protein shake with it. Sometimes I make protein coffee. I'll make smoothies and pop in a scoop of protein powder. I bake with it. Literally yesterday, I just made waffles with protein powder. So I wanted to share with you my favorite brands of protein powder. So number one, hands down, is Clean Simple Eats. My opinion, this tastes the best. This is the best protein powder. There's no protein aftertaste. They have so many amazing flavors. This is German chocolate cake, one of my favorites. This is the full size bag. You can also buy it in little single serve packets. It is 20 grams of protein, 100 calories, and I love that it is 100% grass fed whey. So it's nice, high quality protein. It is, it is sweetened with xylitol, which is one of the more natural sweeteners. Be mindful if you have pets, xylitol is toxic to pets. I have two dogs, I just don't let my dogs eat the protein powder. So it's something I have in my house with two dogs. Just be mindful that it is toxic to dogs. So make sure you're putting your utensils and the things you use to when you have the protein powder away so your pets don't get access to it. But hands down, in my opinion, the best protein powder on the market. Best tasting, highest quality protein. I also love Devotion. Now Devotion is a protein powder that I like to bake with. So I mentioned I made protein waffles. I'll give you a little, I'll give you my favorite recipe. One scoop of the Devotion sin, Sinful Cinnamon Protein. Now Devotion comes in in bags and comes in tubs as well. I just have these single serve packets. Mix it with some canned pumpkin, 
the most amazing waffles and you get 20 grams of protein and 110 calories. So macros are very similar to Clean Simple Eats. I don't love Devotion in a protein shake. I much prefer my Clean Simple Eats, but for baking, Devotion is my go-to. The angel food cake and the brownie batter and the sinful cinnamon are my favorite flavors from Devotion. And then lastly for protein powder is 1UP Nutrition. I use a lot of 1UP supplements and this is my favorite protein powder from them. It is the Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream. It literally tastes like those strawberry ice cream bars, literally. And this is what I like to use if I'm doing a fruit smoothie that I want to pop protein into because it is more of a fruity flavor. I also like the cake batter from Clean Simple Eats in my fruity smoothies, but this one is my go-to. 150 calories, 25 grams of protein, and it has five and a half grams of BCAAs, which really helps with recovery post-workout. So these three hands down are my favorite protein powders. Honestly, these are the only ones that I use. I do have discounts for all of these. 10% off of Clean Simple Eats, 10% off of Devotion, and 20% off of 1UP. I will link it down below for you. Next up are these little crunchy snacks. Now, I used to eat these all the time. Kind of got away from them. Now they're I'm back into them. And these are from Bada Bean, Bada Boom. The Mesquite Barbecue is my very, very favorite flavor. But basically, these are fava beans. They remind me of corn nuts with protein. They're really, really good. It's 110 calories and there's six grams of protein. Corn nuts have zero grams of protein. Okay, maybe one, but not enough to be something that we wanna eat as a protein snack, but these definitely are. If you are a crunch lover and you are a savory lover, these are fantastic. Every flavor is really good. I love the Mesquite Barbecue. This is a little single serving bag, but you can buy these in a larger bag, about half the size of the Clean Simple Eats at most grocery stores. I know my local Sprouts carries them. So I would imagine stores like Whole Foods, Natural Grocers should have them as well. Such a great crunchy snack. You can also get these on Amazon. So I'll link them on Amazon for you, but I love these. Great and these are also great to take on the go. Another thing are protein bars. Now I have tried literally every protein bar on the market and these four are my all-time favorite brands. The other bars that are available these are my all-time favorites. These four are the ones that I reach for all the time. So first is the Fulfill brand. These are really good. These are The macros on these are fantastic. They're 150 calories to 160, and they have 15 grams of protein. That is amazing. One thing I wanna point out is when you're looking for a protein supplement or a high protein snack, what you want to look for is 10% or more of the total calories should come from protein. So this is 150 calories, 15 grams of protein, that's 10%. If it's 200 calories, it should have 20 or more grams of protein. That's how you know that it's a high protein snack. And like I said, the Fulfill macros are really, really good. I love the flavors. This is the chocolate peanut caramel. There is the chocolate sea salt, which is in a teal wrapper. I have that one as well. I buy these on Amazon. It is the cheapest place to buy them. I love these. I would say this is one of my very, very, very favorite protein bars. I'll link them on Amazon for you. I also love Built Bar. The macros on Built Bar are the, the macros are exceptional on Built Bar. This is the Built Puff. I also like the traditional Built Bar. 140 calories, 17 grams of protein. Again, macro profile of these two bars is really, really, really good. I mean, excellent, excellent macros. Built Bar, I do have a discount for Built Bar as well. I'll link it for you. The puffs are a little bit more like a marshmallow consistency on the inside, and the traditional Built Bars are a little bit more solid. If the consistency of the Built Bars bothers you, put them in your fridge or freezer. It completely changes the consistency, but I'm telling you, macro-wise, one of the best. And then Bear Bells. Bear Bells are really good. I typically buy them at Trader Joe's. I know you can get them on Amazon. I'll link them on Amazon because I know not everybody has a Trader Joe's. This particular one is the pumpkin spice. This one is really good. My favorite flavor of Bear Bells is creamy crisp and it's super, super delicious. This particular one has 210 calories, 20 grams of protein. So again, that 10% ratio, very, very close to that. Bear Bells are an excellent option. Now, Bear Bells have the most calories out of the other protein bars, but they're delicious and they're another really great option. And then I guess this isn't really a protein bar. It's more of a protein treat, but I love these. These are from the brand Magic Spoon. These are the Magic Spoon treats. There's double chocolate and a peanut butter one. I got these at Costco. 
If I can find them on Amazon, I'll link them for you, but Costco should have them. They have 12 grams of protein and 140 calories, so not quite the 10% ratio, very, very close. One gram of sugar and two grams of net carbs. I do not track net carbs, but I love that there's one gram of sugar, 150 calories. These have this layer of chocolate on the bottom and then a Rice Krispie treat with a drizzle on top. They're really good. They're really good. They taste like a traditional Rice Krispie treat with chocolate. And again, 12 grams of protein. These are one of my favorite pre-workout snacks. It's a good amount of carbs to give me some energy for my workout and they taste absolutely delicious. So if you can find these at Costco, grab them. And if I'll try, I'll find them online and link them for you as well. But again, they're from Magic Spoon and they're the Magic Spoon Treats. I also love meat sticks. Meat sticks, beef jerky, those are go-tos for me. Again, because they're portable and easy to take with you. You get a good amount of protein for lower calorie. There's some favorite brands that I have. This is from the brand Chop House. This particular one is a chicken meat stick in hot sriracha. Now, I don't like hot, but this is the perfect amount of spice, like the perfect amount of kick, 15 grams of protein and 90 calories. That's an amazing ratio of protein to calories. It's a huge stick for only 90 calories. Absolutely delicious. One stick, I one meat stick I'm out of, I actually should place my, I should restock them. I think I'm gonna order them today on Amazon, is Nick's stick, specifically the green wrapper, the turkey wrapper, 70 calories for 10 grams of protein. So an amazing meat stick option. Pretty similar to the size of these. You actually get two sticks in the pack. Delicious grass fed high quality meat stick. Highly recommend Nick sticks. Again, I buy them on Amazon. I'm going to order them immediately today because I'm actually completely out of them. And then last, if you want something a little bit smaller, a little less calories, these are from Country Archer. These are the mini grass-fed beef sticks, zero sugar. There's four grams of protein and 40 calories. So it's a little bit smaller stick compared to the Chop House and the Nick sticks, but it's going to be, but it's only 40 calories with four grams of protein. Again, a really good protein to calorie ratio. These are the minis. I buy these at Costco. I'll see if I can find them again online. If I can, I'll link them for you. I'm sure they have full size as well, but I like having the minis and the full size meat sticks as options. And then really any beef jerky is another really good thing to have as a high protein snack. Next up are midday squares. Now this isn't high protein, but the ingredients in here are super duper clean. And what I love about these, besides the clean ingredients, they taste amazing, is they have some fiber and some protein. There are so many different flavors of midday squares. I buy them directly off of their website. You can also find them at grocery stores. I know Target carries them and Sprouts carries them. This particular one is the peanut butter. There's a thick coating of chocolate and then a thick coating of peanut butter. And they have a brownie one, a cookie dough one, all of the flavors are really good. It's 170 calories. There's only six grams of protein, but there's also four grams of fiber. And the ingredients are super clean, super filling, super delicious. They're called midday squares because they're meant to be a healthy snack to just make it through the rest of your day. And I rely on these a lot. Now these do have to be, these are refrigerated. So they come in there, they are in the refrigerated section. So keep them in your fridge. They can sit out for a little bit before you eat them. But I love these. If you're looking for a clean ingredient snack with protein and fiber, definitely pick up midday squares. And last but not least is a snack, a sweet treat, a dessert, and that's the Wonder Square. I have shared these time and time again on my channel. These two little squares right here are really, really good. This I typically utilize as a dessert. And this one is the peanut butter one. So again, similar to the midday square, there's a layer of chocolate, a layer of peanut butter. These are also kept in the refrigerator. I pick these up off of Nutrition. I do have a 10% discount. I use my own discount when I order Order. All of the flavors are these are really good as well, but the peanut butter is my favorite. This tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. No joke. No joke. This tastes just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. 100 calories, 8 grams of protein. So really close to that protein, high protein ratio and a perfect dessert. Absolutely perfect dessert or sweet snack. If you're craving a Reese's peanut butter cup, if you're craving something sweet, get the Wonder Square. The ingredients are amazing. There's fiber in here. Absolutely incredible, my very, very favorite high protein dessert option. So those are my top 10 high protein snacks, desserts. I love every single one of these things. I'm telling you, I eat 
more than one of the, I eat at least two or three of these every single day. They are my go-tos. They have helped me lose 140 pounds, helped me maintain that weight loss. I cannot recommend these 10 products enough. And like I said, I will link them all for you. I will try to find them all. I guess with the exception of Good Culture Cottage Cheese, you can find that at your local grocery store. And the yogurts, of course, those are also at your local stores, but I will link everything for you. I will find you the best deal, the best discount, and put them at the top of the description box. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. What are your go-to high protein snacks? Let us know because you may enlighten someone on something they've never heard of as a high protein snack that they can try out for themselves. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And also in the description box, along with all of these protein snacks, I will have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. It's amazing. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Sunday, friends. And I will see you in tomorrow's meal prep.